what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more of that 90s show that this is season one episode seven um so yeah let's go over the comments uh yeah it might feel like a nickelodeon because the actors are actual children this time i don't think that's it at all i, I don't i don't think that's why uh, I don't know if I'm weird, but the ketchup pump scene reminded me of the Hannah Montana pilot where Miley did it. Exactly. Yeah, I think you just counteracted exactly what you just said. It was a joke that would happen, like, on Disney Channel. Anyways, it's Hello, Wisconsin. I checked every season. But I swear it sounds like, I love Wisconsin! I don't know. That's what it sounded like to me. Uh, never seen 90210, so I didn't understand any of the jokes, or if it was accurate. I also thought the joke went on too long. I thought it was great. That was a highlight of the episode. I loved it. Anyways, let's get into the episode. It finally happened, you guys! Grandpa, I know this looks bad, but we only finally. got over because I don't know. I don't know if finally is the word. She's right, Mr. Foreman. I'd use. Sometimes, if you're searching for blame, it's best to look inward. My foot's about to go inward your ass. <laughs> You can't set him up like that. No, we're off to a rough start, but give me a chance. Someday this frog is gonna turn into a butterfly. <laughs> I'm getting stupider standing here. You are banned from this house. Get out. What? No! <laughs> honey, honey, let go of the frog. I'm meeting my SAT tutor in 20 minutes. Again with that guy? But you're already so smart. You want me to escape from that trampoline? Hey, I need to ace the SATs, get into a good college, cure a disease, and have my face on a stamp so my enemies can lick it. She's spending a lot of time with that tutor guy. Is someone feeling jealous? No, I am. I mean... She's with this guy all the time. Do you think I have anything to worry about? Tough to answer without knowing who the guy is, but knowing you, maybe. If it's really bothering you, let's go check this guy out. I should just trust her. I watch a lot of talk shows, and I've learned two things. People cheat, and once a hoe, always a hoe. Hi, Miss Rung. Sorry, but my grandma's not home. Oh, I know. I gotta pick her up at the dentist soon because she's gonna be zonked. But I thought I'd pop over first and do a little grocery shopping. So much easier than going all the way down to the store, you know? Mom! Grab me some yogurts. Aw, oh. oh, you know, it's the beginning of a relationship when the guy still goes outside to cut the cheese. Jay, just come in. I missed you so much. Missed you too. What, did you just get back from Iraq or something? They've been apart for one day. Her grandpa banned him from the house. Sounds like Red's being a hard ass like my dad. He never believed in me. Sometimes I wonder if that might have screwed me up. No. <laughs> well, that's nice, hon, but I really think he did. The point is, adults should be more understanding, you know? I mean, just throwing rules out at kids is not the answer. So you'll sign off on me getting a tattoo? Sorry, lady. I'm fine with you making mistakes, but not permanent ones. Tattoos, babies, and DUIs, the unholy trinity. Jay, why don't we go pick up my grandma? I know this isn't the sexiest thing I've ever said, but I'm pretty sure your grandpa can kick my ass. But it would show him how responsible you are. Grandma, can you please just chill out? Yeah. We just passed a tattoo shop. Forget it, Gwen. My only job is to get her home safe. I'm not stopping for anything. Run the light! <laughs> oh. Come on. This is my chance. Your grandma's out of it. She'll sign the release. Right, Mrs. Foreman? You want me to get a tattoo, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> and then let's steal a boat and go to Vegas. No. We're going home, we're putting grandma to bed, and we're showing my grandpa that Jay is a responsible human being. Guess who? Oh my God. We'll be quick. Later, nerds. That was dangerous. <laughs> Nick? What? You here? Whoa. Now? How? What? Weird. I told you I was going to be here. Right, with your tutor. I totally forgot about him. Where is he? Oh, Trevor. Here he comes. <laughs> Trevor, this is my boyfriend, Nate. Boyfriend? <laughs> More like man friend. I can't grow any hair on my face, but from the waist down, it is wall to wall carpeting. And I'm Ozzy. My pediatrician said I'll be 6'2. I've heard a lot about you. 
Nikki tells me you're on the football team? Yeah, but hey, we couldn't do it without guys like you in the stands cheering us on. Actually, Trevor got a football scholarship to Notre Dame. Not that he needs it. His dad's a congressman. God bless America. Well, this is fun and normal. Thanks for stopping by, but we really need to get back to studying. Yeah, super busy day on our end, too. Ozzy's lizard is sick, and I have to help with the pills. They go in the butt. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice to meet you, Nate. What's, What's taking, taking so, so long? long? Oh, we said that at the same time. We're adorable. I can't do adorable right now. Are you if your grandpa even beats talked? Us, Are you just on the kill kill street? Okay, that was cute. Finally. Let's see it. Oh, I bailed on the tattoo. Some lady cut in front of me and it was taking forever. I got a tattoo! <laughs> to Vegas! I was right. That Trevor dude is obviously trying to seduce Nikki. I don't think he needs to try very hard. How am I gonna save my relationship? He's hot, he's smart. He doesn't owe Nikki 70 bucks. I got it. Kinda weird to say he's hot. Stop. So you're gonna be the let's bring him out guy. The what guy? There's one on every talk show. The host says, let's bring him out. Everyone boos. Then he says, you don't know me. Have you never seen a talk show? Ozzy, Ozzy. Welcome back. Today, we have Nikki and Trevor. They may look like the perfect couple, but somebody has a problem with that. Let's bring him out. You don't know me. You don't know me. Nate, why don't you tell us what's gotten you so upset? That's my girlfriend. And now she's hanging out with this chump, and suddenly, I'm not good enough for her. Nikki? Nate's fine. But Trevor stimulates my mind and my body. What? That's impossible. Not for me. Nate, stop. I'm done playing around. You need to make a choice. Is it him or is it me? Oh, then him. This guy? You don't know him. <laughs> Shut up, you don't know me! Nobody knows you. Stop saying that. <laughs> I need to talk to Nate. Not a fan of that party. And I'm what are you going to say to her? This is getting weird, dude. We'll be right back. <laughs> the emergency did you run out of eggs because i don't know how that happened look what happened at the dentist it's not Holy even like crap. sore Ola. that's really I bad i'm feeling you up when you're out but this cross is a line my mother would be rolling in her grave if we hadn't spread her ashes in the parking lot of the sizzler by her church did you get one too you've been talking non-stop about tatties no you told me not to get one and i always follow what you tell me to do good those things are a one-way ticket to whore town <laughs> sorry are you sure there is no way to get this off? Is there a, a special cream or something? If there was, I wouldn't have Fred Flintstone riding a surfboard That's on my hip bone. <laughs> That's red. So you have a tattoo. Good lord, what is he gonna think? Down in hell, there's this little room in the way back where the devil craps fire into your mouth. That's the DMV. <laughs> How was your day, dear? It, it was great. Just like nothing crazy happened. And what's he doing here? He brought Grandma the chicken from his garden. Yes. I was making supper. I, I have to get up inside there. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be yummy. Want to take that chicken off your hand? I do not. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the laundry now. I am so disappointed in you. All of you. Especially you, little Kelso. I was wrong the other day. You are a problem? complete waste of a foot in the ass. You never even gave him a chance. You decided just based on his last name that you were going to hate him. This is so unfair. And that's what makes it fun for me. <laughs> it is my fault, sir. I was the one driving. I'm not proud of what happened, but I do believe the mistakes we make are what turn us into the men we become. And I would like to become a man worthy of dating your granddaughter. Get out. Are you done? And you go to your room. Brad, don't you think you're being a little harsh? Yeah, they made a mistake, but nobody got hurt. My wife is tatted up. I like mean, she's that doing was her, though. Rikers. That was all her. I'm starting to like it. I feel like Rizzo from Greece. All I asked you to do was to give Kitty a simple ride home. But you pawned it off on the kids and turned it into a circus, like everything in your life. You know what? Screw you. You're such a blowhard. You know how many years I spent getting yelled at, being told how much I messed up? So you don't have to respect me because I finally respect myself. And I don't have to stand here while you yell at me 
anymore. And thanks a lot for never teaching me how to ride a bike. Do I look like her father? Jay is not his father. He could have run off, let Leia take all the blame, but you saw how he stood up for her and took responsibility. Michael Kelso would never have done that. Michael Kelso glued himself to our refrigerator. I think you're setting the bar for the final <laughs> look. Oh, look, Red, I'm guilty of it too. Leia's right. We never really did give Jay a chance. I'm kind of freaking out about us. We've been spending all this time with Trevor. Trevor? Nate, there's nothing between me and Trevor. You know I don't like muscular guys. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that, but it's not just him. It's all this other stuff. SATs, the studying. I'm afraid you're gonna leave me behind. Nate, I'm not going to college to leave you behind. I'm, I'm going to college so I can have a future. Am I in that future? Well, the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You're hot and you quote Terminator too. <laughs> I, I can't imagine not being with you. I need you to tell me we're always going to be together. Hey, come here. Babe, I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is that I love you, and I hope that's enough. It is. Feeling better? Yeah. Hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I have to head home for dinner. Hey there. Listen, kiddo. I've been thinking. If you really want to see this Kelso kid, I'll give him a chance. Really? But you gotta be careful. No more joy rides. And he's not allowed upstairs. Fair? So fair. I'll tell Jay everything the next time I see him. <laughs> Already gone. <laughs> Bye, Bye, babe. Aww. I talked to Kitty and I gotta tell you, I know you're not my dad. <laughs> For one thing, you're alive. And also, you're not a jerk. <laughs> well, uh, we here to chat or, or learn? No. Like we practiced. Oh, hey, balance is oh that's cute. From all those times I walked home drunk in high heels. This is oh, kind of cute. It. <laughs> I'm doing it. All right, there you go. Now turn around. Yeah, I'm doing it. Good job. Oh, now, oh, break. Oh, oh, okay, don't break. Okay, that is not what's happening. You idiot. Don't worry. I'm okay. Hey, what's up, you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this, very edit, for example. Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, alrighty -o. well that was that 90 show, season 1, episode 7. Uh, I feel like that one, again, wasn't very funny. Um, I think they're very hit or miss. Uh, but at least this one wrapped up the Nikki and Nate storyline. I feel like the last two episodes maybe didn't do that. I think. I feel like that's what happened. Um, but yeah. Uh, it was decent. Uh, yeah. What else to say? 
Um. I don't know. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.